watching now or later. I don't know if Look here, the hungry. Showcase Sunday. This should be the 62nd time we've done this, uh, in which we will be giving about four games up to half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming uh, at another date. And yeah, the first game that we have here is 112 Operator, the sequel to 911 Operator which I had originally planned to use for this, but uh, yeah, I heard that this game, well, for one, it was also on sale, so that definitely helped as well. But I heard that this game, it's pretty much the same, but it does improve on many things from what I've heard. So All right. I, I thought I might as well swap them out. So yeah, you can, you can take a decent guess at what uh, we'll be doing here, we'll be playing as, well, an operator in the emergency room of basically any city we pick in uh, uh, Europe. Uh, if we'd be doing a free game or scenarios, I'm presuming that would be pretty much the same as in uh, the, the first game. So, yeah, let's... Uh, we have... Are you telling me that Europe used this number? Mm -hmm. Uh, nothing. I don't know if the entirety of Europe does. I do know that it's the one we use here in the Netherlands. I thought it was only Sweden. I was in school we told that each country had their own number. Okay, so maybe it is uh, <laughs> almost continent-wide, the emergency line then. I, I, I'm suspecting it's either changed or the school were teaching outdated information. All right, uh, which of these... I'm going to presume that I'm... I'm, I'm going to start a timer for one. Um, I'm going to guess that either each of these has their own campaigns, or it's just a campaign on a different location each time. Uh, which one would you say we should pick? Oh, hello there. Hey. Hello, Rom! Yeah, yeah. Hello, how's everyone doing? Uh, Great. Doing well. Hungry. <laughs> As always. So am I. Well, okay, uh, okay. Uh, which, uh, which would you say, Drakir, to go for here? Oh. Well, so say it says Rome is here, might as well take Rome. <laughs> you want to know uh, the funny part? I do have family in Italy. More <laughs> perfect. Uh, I, better be, yeah, I better do a good job, otherwise people are going to die. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, um, is, in this game we don't directly control any characters except for the operator who well directs uh, who directs emergency services around. Uh, let's see. Rome is the capital of Italy and is one of the most recognizable cities of the world. It is the seat of the European Olympic Committee. The most popular crimes are pickpocketing and bribery. Hot, dry Mediterranean summers constitute a perfect weather for fires and other problems connected with heat. In the beginning, you will be assigned to Municipio Roma 4. It is in a distal district called Tiburtina Valley. It is the biggest production area in Rome, although it is currently subject to deindustrialization. And the old factories are being redeveloped into a shopping center. Okay, so basically, they are each their own campaign. Where I'm guessing you, they will be sending you through eight different districts every time. All right. Okay. Let's see. Difficulty level easy. You are not familiar with 911 operator. Fewer incidents. Weaker criminals. Recommended if you know 911 operator. Failed incident penalty double. Penalty for overtime 20%. Uh, and more incidents and fights, and a triple penalty on hard and expert, no in-game pause, auto saves only, penalty for overtime, plus 40% more incidents and fights, and <laughs> quadruple penalty. So hard then. Uh, let's not. <laughs> let's just go normal. Uh, use headphones or speakers. Yeah. And it's now it's. One of the aspects of this game is that you can put a scenario or a free game basically in any town that the game has a map of, which is basically the entire globe. So you could 
you could probably play some matches of this in uh, American or even African cities. I think you could in 911 operator. Okay. Emergency management center in Rome, Europe. Oh, hi. You came to the right place. Welcome to the emergency management center. This is where all the operators work. Here, you can see the situation in the entire city. And this is where you will sit. You can put your headphones on already. I will give you a brief explanation of the system that we're using. You're looking at the city map and all your available units. Your main objective is to dispatch the emergency services. Police units are blue, ambulances are white, and firefighters have red icons. First, wait for the incoming incidents. One of the other call takers reported an incident. Let's take care of it. Click on the new incident icon. The info panel will show all we know about the incident. Read it carefully to learn who you have to send. Each icon represents a different unit. You can dispatch them to any place or an incident using the right mouse button. Yep. And they have to go all that way around. Yeah, they, they use the actual roadmaps of the places that you select in this game. That's attention to detail. Yep. And okay, we can speed things up a bit up here. But yeah, there's going to be choke points. Oop. Slow down. Another incident. Abandoned vehicle. Okay. Fire fence, uh, fighter intervention needed. Large technical job. Instant is blocking road could cause traffic jam. Nope. Operator. Roger. And a drug dealer. Okay. A new emergency call has been redirected to you. Answer it as soon as possible and focus on the conversation. Be as professional as possible. People's life might depend on it. They act. Uh -oh. They actively might. Yeah. One one two. What's your emergency? What's the address, ma'am? It's Avenue. Okay. That is there an emergency awkward? button in the elevator? It's not working. Okay, Turn what floor phone. are you on? I'm not on any floor. I'm stuck in the elevator. Just help us. Okay. I need you to calm down. I understand, ma'am. I meant around what floor. It's important. Oh, okay. It's moving up and down between the 8th and 10th floor all the time. But the doors won't open. How many people are there? Four. There's four of us. How many elevators are in the building? There's two of them? I think we're in the first one. That's useful info, and apparently ink snuck into the room. Okay, ma'am, I'm sending the firefighters to help you. Please, stay calm. Just hurry. I can't take it anymore. Bye. They'll come as soon as possible. Goodbye. When you finish a call, you should decide whom to send, just as with every other incident. Alternatively, you can decide to ignore the incident if you think there is no need for an intervention. You can also enter some notes for yourself and choose the appropriate icon if you like, just as other call takers do. Luckily, on most, it just auto tags something once you get in a certain amount of info. Be aware that you are going I to believe. get reputation points for every solved incident and get a penalty for every incident that you fail to resolve. And yeah, you can you can totally screw up those calls and get people killed. For now, that's all you need to know. Good luck. But there are some duds among them. Going back to base. Waiting for their orders. Like prank calls? Yeah, or just drunks. Operator? Uh. Reporting. Going you there. Go you go. Get that little trash fire. Okay. Did multiple tickets will get enough. Going there. Okay, drug dealer was caught. Ambulance is heading back to the nearest hospital. And it, okay, they got the people out. So we got some extra incidents. Awaiting orders. 
You go after that. You go after that. The bicycle theft. Okay. You go over there. And yeah, this. Yeah. One one two. What's your emergency? Hi. Uh, uh, there's a car following me. Um, could you please help me? Oh, hello. Where are you? In my own car. I just drove by. They do that since they can't voice act every little line. Um, what car is following you? It's a black sedan. Um, the thing is, I actually know the driver. Ah. Uh, who is that? Do you know that person? There was a guy at a party, and he was really clingy, and I couldn't really get rid of him, so that's why I left. He's the one following me. I'll send an officer to do a routine check. Drive safely. Oh, thank you. Please do that as fast as you can. 101. Okay, yeah. Standing by. Nothing too dangerous on its own, but... Yeah, some of these case, some of these things can escalate, which is a new feature I read that they added in on this. When a unit arrives on the scene, the actual situation overview becomes available. The team members will do their job on their own the best they can. You can click any element to see additional info. Here we have the caller, here we have the uh, suspect, and the bar filling up, the box filling up is progress, like... Uh, Talking to them and such. Reporting. Roger. Not a call. Uh, in the mean. Uh. One one two. What's your emergency? Hello. I uh. I need. I need medical advice. Ooh. What happened, sir? Uh. I hurt myself with a knife. Ah. Accidentally. Where's the wound? It's uh, it's in the upper thigh. Can you tell me where you are? It doesn't fucking matter. Is yes, it, it does. does. Well, there's a knife in my thigh. It's it's hot yeah. and there's blood soaking from it. Feels bad. Yeah, he Sir, needs can help. You tell me back. the address, please. Uh, I'm just trying to help. I'm gonna hang up if you ask me one more time. Don't, don't take it out. That that's just going to make uh, the bleeding worse. I need help. Uh, it, I believe it is tracking. Really? Tell him to not take it out. Uh. Heart attack there. Uh, you go All that way. Okay, that that was a bad case. I'm guessing the other ways we could have kept him on the line longer because it was trying to triangulate a position. Uh, oh, there he, the motherfucker's over there. Okay, there he's going to have to wait for these. Oh, another incident there. Why are you two chuckle fucks just bagging together like that? Okay, that Roger. is just a pickpocket, nothing big. Uh, let's... Oh, perfect Roger. timing. <laughs> Getting in a tree. <laughs> okay, uh... Pickpocket, let's see. Of course, Going there. things can Not get dangerous, of course. Oh. Uh, someone is choking, but the ambulance is already Ready headed for the, amp for the uh, hospital right next to it. So, yeah, they can pick them up on the way up for there. And here's the, yeah, the dumbass who managed to stab himself with a glow, with a hot knife. Okay. Uh, yeah, these little boxes are out around the place, are municipal places, like fire, <clears throat> hospitals and such. 112, what's your emergency? Emergency, yes. Where are you? What's the emergency? I've been followed home. Are you hurt? No, I suppose I'm not. Is there anyone with you? Wh why? No, I'm, I'm alone. 
Who followed you? I don't know. He, he doesn't look in any uh, particular way. Could you describe the person who followed you? He, info. He, you need info as much as you can. Not have a face. Does he have a mask on? How should I know? He has no face. Okay, she might... There might be more going on here. Have you been taking drugs, miss? Drugs? Why would I take drugs? Where were you before you came home? I was at a party. Oh. And what were you doing there? Yeah, that makes what? something. Just partying, drinking with friends and stuff. Yes. No, uh, okay, I, I, I might have. What? He's still there. As long as you're inside, you're safe. What if he breaks the window? Okay, hold on. I'm sending help as fast as I can. Thanks. When some guys, sometimes they are the calls are like puzzles that you need to decipher. And yeah, just sending in the the cops to check back in because sometimes the puzzles can be pretty tricky. One case in the original 911 operator was with somebody, quote unquote ordering a pizza but was actually talking in codes okay, because they were kidnapped yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're chasing this motherfucker all over town as for you dumbasses split up go patrol somewhere else instead of just hanging around the donut shop or whatever okay that one, that one stuck in a loop look up left <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're patrolling around the place, and okay, they finally caught that guy. The duty is now over. This window allows you to check all the incidents that happened during the last duty. Click any incident to learn exactly what happened. Only one unresolved? Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, th this was the one. The operator was called by a criminal who was stabbed in the leg. The caller didn't want to share his location. Incident scene was localized by cellular network provider. Operator ordered unit four to go. Arrives on site. One clearly. Okay, so we me we messed that up. He yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Scroll down. Mm. Scroll down more. <laughs> Slenderman, and this is as low yeah, as it I goes. We, I think we know who who made that call. <laughs> uh. He has no face! Yeah, he probably has a mask on. This is 2022, so... You are now in management mode. Here, you can modify your units, check your objectives, messages, and statistics. Click the icons above to go to a specific panel. And have you considered... Yeah. Go ahead. Have you played... The... Sorry, have you played This Is The Police or... and I missed it? Uh, we gave This Is The Police 2 a shot during one of these Showcase Sundays, but we, 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 I think we put it on the yes list for eventually. Ah. Yeah, I'm um, sure. I don't really remember. If I remember correctly, that game is more... <clears throat> this, that game is in some ways similar to this, and that it's a resource management game. Uh, but also with XCOM, like, uh, combat into it. And, yeah, here we have each of our cars and the people assigned to them, who's the driver and such, because they all have skills, like driving, shooting accuracy, and then efficiencies. Okay, search and suspect handling, this bomb disarming. <laughs> uh, oh, these guys are really freaking accurate. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, different type. Yeah. The driving skill is universal. Other than that, you have medical, technical, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. There is overlap, but of course, uh, we could send some cops to a fire, but they, <laughs> the firefighters would still be better at uh, dealing with fires themselves. Okay, let's see Here, our objectives. You can check the objectives currently assigned to you. Complete them to receive awards, and eventually, get promoted. Yeah. Okay, give proper first aid instructions, and maintain positive reputation. 
This is your work inbox. Check it regularly to receive important information about incoming events, changes, objectives, and other news. Yeah, also some Remember. tips in there. Remember to check your inbox, and then we completely forget to check the inbox, and suddenly there's a fucking tornado in Rome. Boom, did here. Let's see. Contains tips for the 112 operator OS. Uh, when you reach the senior level in the game, you will be able to hire dispatchers. Dispatchers will take over part of your work by sending out units to incidents. Dispatchers are assigned to specific districts. One dispatcher can be assigned to several districts. Uh, each dispatcher has a different level of accuracy in matching teams to the type of incident and the speed to it. Okay, this this is new. So a, a bit of delegation. Yep. Cat in a tree. <laughs> hey, let's be honest. If you keep sending us to such bullshit like yesterday, we don't have time for serious cases. Speeding through the city for nothing. Get it together, please. Uh, yeah, sometimes your people actually send you emails, <laughs> it seems. Uh, though that comes to another uh, thing I've heard that they added in this game is that, well, things can, like we said, things can escalate. And if we ignore like a cat in a tree, uh, someone else might try to get it out of you know, the tree. And then we suddenly get uh, an instant, uh, some dumbass fell out of a tree. Let's see. I can see that button. Hi, everyone should be familiar with first aid, especially the 112 operators, people who are panicking and frightening and don't think clearly and will often ask you to explain how to help in an incident. It is important that you know the procedure by heart. It, this might be a matter of life and death. That is why you, uh, you can find first aid on your loading screens. Cheers. Okay. Now, I know a reasonable amount of first aid, but I'm by far no, <laughs> no one qualified for it. Let's see. Speaking of qualified, we're glad to inform that you were qualified to the next and last recruitment phase, three days trial periods. During this time, you will learn the basics of working at our center. Uh, we're going to evaluate your effectiveness. And depending on the results, we will decide whether to hire you. Uh, okay. And then we can move on to the next day, I believe. It's a good practice to disperse your units throughout the city before the duty starts. Make sure that each part is covered. You never know when and where an incident is going to appear. Click the yep. start again when you are ready. Uh, let's put that one here. Keep this one there. Uh, yeah, it, it's a good idea to keep some spreads. And yeah, since it's the tutorial, we can't actually hire Going people yet. Oh, right off the bat, a broken bone. Okay, easy enough. Can I advise AMR uh, there is some story to the his game, I believe, or at least there was in the pre in the previous game, a bit of an overlapping Ready game uh, story that ran across some of the well, not not of across some of the location, but each location did have uh, a bit of story pop up sooner or later, I believe. Not much, but still. Okay, someone Going went through red. Okay. And it seems that they're heading back towards their patrol points. Okay. Yeah, someone's getting a fine. Oop. Technical and call. 112, what's your emergency? Good morning to you, sir. I... I... I'd like to, uh... Sir, is everything okay? Send an ambulance. Quick. Ah. Sir, what's going on? I, she strangled. Ah. I strangled her. Tell me your name, please. Zdzisław. Uh, oh, I'm not even going to attempt that. Sir, where are you? I'm at... Oh, you slut! She's deceiving me! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Sir, where are you? Nowhere. The entire thing impossibly suspect information. And yeah, you can also have things like that. Ready for next case. What the heck was that? Uh, that was a... Choking, Blake. 
No, yeah, um, a murder you know, partner, attempt, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Awaiting orders. Uh, you Ready go over action. there. Operator you go there as well. They triangulated actually, it. You, actually, if you murder someone, you don't really call 911 and admit to strangling someone, so I bet it's just some kinky shit that went sideways. Case resolved. Okay. Order yeah. Canceled. Ready for next case. Yeah, it sounds like a... Hmm. Yep. One one two. What's yep. your emergency? A domestic. Wait, there was an accident. A woman was hit by a car. Where did that happen? At a road near. Okay. Uh, we need medical over there. Sir, do you know how it happened? Uh, I, I think she just entered the road and, and the car hit her. She did a flip and now she's on her back. What should I do? Okay, that's decent. Uh, what position is she in? She's a bit on her side, and, and her arms and legs are twisted. Oh, is she conscious? I don't think so. She was hit badly. Hello, hello Miss? I think she's unconscious. All right, check if she's breathing. Tilt her head back, put your ear close to her mouth, and watch if her chest is moving for ten seconds. Um, oh, God, I hope I won't do her any harm. I can't hear anything. The chest is not moving either. Do you know how to perform chest compression, sir? No, not really. I'll tell you what to do. Please, follow my instructions. Okay, I'm listening. Kneel down beside her upper body. Place your hands in the middle of her chest, one on top of the other. Can I do that? Should I, shouldn't I ask for consent? Trust me, you have consent. Place your hands in the middle of her chest, on a line between her nipples. What now? Uh, I forget. Uh, push down. Now, push as up. hard as you can. Use your body oh, weight and keep your that's arms straight. Bad, that's bad. That's bad. Okay. I said push down, not break her ribs. Okay. Uh, achievement life saving. Uh, okay, and uh, breathe into her mouth. Hello. Now stop. Blow some air into her lungs and repeat until the ambulance arrives. Will do. Please hurry. Real, real loud, okay, I might, I, I, I might have screwed that up with these hard push, but I, for, again, or I might not have. I, I, like I said, I'm not qualified for medical aid. I think you're not supposed to be too soft either, but yeah, carefully harder we say. Yes. Oh, yeah, if you do score, you break grapes, then you do obviously do it very wrong. Yeah, we were too late or we screwed it up. They died. 112, what's your emergency? I'm Michael Miller. I need firefighters. What happened? There's gas leak. I was coming back home and I smelled gas. That's bad. Do you know where the leak is? What floor are you on? On the ground floor, sir. It's, I think it's coming from upper floors. Do not are you go sure you smell gas? Of course Don't I do. am. Sir, I know what I'm doing. My dad is a firefighter. Sending firefighters now. Thanks, I'm coming That's up. That's a heavy gas. That what? My sister is still in the flat. I need to get her. And I'll try to wake as many neighbors as I can. Wait, stop. Did you turn the fire alarm on? I tried. I pushed the button, but nothing happened. It might be broken. That's bad as well. No, wait. You need to leave the building immediately. No way. My sister's inside. And plenty of other people. I need to warn them. Do you have anything that could ignite a spark? Is the light in the staircase on? Yes. It turns on automatically. Why? It may cause an ignition if there's too much gas in the air. Nothing happened here. The light is already on. I need to help them anyway. Uh, stay calm. Okay. Go up and warn the neighbors. That might be bad. If, if, if they're panicking. I'm almost there. 
Yeah, he's choking. You need to run, sir. And that was a spark. That, yeah, we screwed that up two. big What's time. Hello? Bloody heck. Jesus Christ, I've never seen anything like this before. There are people in there. Yeah, if we'd done that differently. What's the address, ma'am? Thank you, ma'am. No we way. already know about the fire. Okay. I hope you've already sent someone because it looks horrible. Can I help with anything else? Got it. That's all, ma'am. The fireman will be there in no time. I hope so. It's really... It looks really bad. Okay, then. I shouldn't block the line. Bye. We're done here. Yeah, we, we screwed it up big time. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, most of these calls you can get are randomized, or at least a certain amount of them are. Oh fuck, they're out of water. Uh, that's a time of shock there. Cops. Over. There's a bunch of police uh, car accidents, shoplifting. You go over there as well. You as well. Yeah, that was, this oh, went sorry, bad. I'm sorry, 1918. Dead, dead, dead. Two injured, another dead. Oh. 112, what's your emergency? I'm stuck on the railroad crossing. What do I do? Wait, how did Where you- Where are you exactly? I'm literally between the barriers. Where exactly is this crossing? What kind of car is it? Just a regular passenger car. Leave the car. You need to save yourself, sir. What about the people on the train? You can't do anything for them. Please, save yourself. I can't bring myself to do that. Try turning the engine on. You'll need to force the barrier. Sir, try again. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. I'm nothing. Yeah. I think he's choking it out, but we, he hadn't had to wait. Yeah. Going there. Order called off. You can see that this can be... Difficult? Yeah. Really yeah. There. And it doesn't really help that the delay... There's a uh, big I, open problem. area here that they can't cross. I only want to say you should probably not have this as a streaming series. Yeah. <laughs> because this could get very stressful. Oh, you stop there then. Severed limb. Ooh, fuck. Yeah, we... I don't think we're going to pass this trial period. Standing by. You're gonna uh, be lucky if they allow you to stay the janitor and the operator for the operators. Yeah. Because we... we, we you got a building we, blown up and a guy run, and an entire fucking car run over by a train and this is day two of your job. Oh, hello. Operator determined Correct. location. Operator called and performed CPR and provided correct instructions, helping to save the victim, but the victim died. So, uh, what? Okay, so you did do the right thing, but the victim was already dead. Yeah, I guess we didn't do it fast enough. Uh, speeding, uh, timed out on that. Okay, they got away. Shoplifting, we missed that. Severed limb, uh, we were late on that. Yeah, victim died, fire spotted, uh, fire in the building. Yeah, we fucked that up big time. Wait, wait, Everyone... we? <laughs> I did. I did it, dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Don't drag us into this, Helian. <laughs> uh, some people got promoted, though. For some reason, though, they didn't immediately sue us to Helen back for this. But uh, yeah.
Uh, You're gonna need a lot more cops. And the fire department. And the ambulances. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, somebody's angry at one of these calls that we messed up, that I messed up. And here it's a live save. The first aid tips you gave in your call yesterday were really useful for callers. Okay. And major fire. Ooh, that's, that is different than before, definitely. If you observe a major fire on the map, you can deploy fire teams to it in two ways. You automatic send teams to the auto, uh, major fire icon that they search for... Uh, so that they search for places that they will go themselves. Second, manual, send teams to the outskirts of the major fire to decide for yourself which place should be extinguished. Okay, so we could get uh, the burning of London scenario. <laughs> that that but, can easily happen to any city. That's why fireworkers take the job very seriously in controlling the fire that doesn't happen. Yeah. For now, though, we gave this game its time, and yeah, there's quite a few others like <laughs> that they put out, and some DLCs as well, the charity masks. So. But we are moving on to our second game. We gave that one a bit extra uh, because yeah, we <laughs> the timer kind of went off in the middle of a call, so that would have been a poor example <laughs> to give. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought I put this thing into windowed mode already. No, oh, there you we just go. completely removed. Ah, there it is. 12 is better than 6, a.k.a. Cowboy Hotline Miami. Okay, I didn't know too much what? about... Oh, I didn't know much, if anything, about this game. But, yeah, 12 is better than 1, and uh, <laughs> let's see if Rom is accurate with that, starting the timer. Okay, I'm surprised. I thought it was a mouth game. Uh, hey, wake no, up, what's 12... your name? No, 12 is better than 6 because 12 shots are better than 6 shots. Two revolvers. I can't remember. You know you're already the third had one this year who can't remember his name. Those Maricons must have poisoned you guys somehow, or just smashed something against your heads too hard. I've been looking after you for three days now, and not, not at all young. Okay, this is us. My head is splitting. Where am I? So glorious mustache on our guy. New Mexico, the Apostle's mine. You'd be lucky to stay alive longer than a month here. My name is Juan. Now, and I will call you number three. Now take the card and push it to the exit. Day one. Uh, we're not. Oh, we're this guy. We're, Okay. E to lock on to it. Uh, what is with the mustachioed skull? Uh, yeah, we're... We're a work slave here, aren't we? Hmm. How's your head, number three? Day number three? It's better now. All right, remember these simple rules. Keep dragging your cart and the overseer won't beat you. You're fed once a day in that house that looks like a barn, symbol. And you call me number three. Where are the first two? The overseer beat him to death. The first one for being lazy, the second on a bed. Uh, what bed? You bet that it's possible to kill a man with five lashes. Enough talking, drag the carts. <coughs> Yeah, some fine people we have here, huh? Okay, so the skull is our objective marker. Okay. Well, I think I already had to have a solution for this. Okay. We said in Rome, armed with a shotgun. <laughs> okay. Just let, okay, you let me get my shotgun. Alright, fine, you get two. Yay! Day 20. <laughs> One... What? I'm grateful to you. You kept me from dying those first days I was out. I have no way to pay you back. I don't need any granite suit, number three. But there is one thing you could do for me. Kill the overseer if you have a chance someday. And keep dragging the carts. I hope no one here does. 
Yeah. If they're willing to kill people just on a bit, they are willing to kill their own <laughs> co-workers between quotation marks. Yeah. Do I wonder, is Juan a fellow worker or a watcher or something like that? I'd say he's a watcher and hello. Same day. What you looking at, bitch? I, uh, I miss, think I pressed the wrong button there. Or... Hmm. Ooh. Okay, the pod's blocked. So, how are we to do the... Ooh. Oh, that's the Overseer gone. Well, that was and... easy. Okay, seems we're not the first who's been on a killing spree. And Okay, we can only have one pistol at a time now. It's not 12, but it's still 6. <laughs> Draw and cock your revolver, right mouse button to shoot, left. After a few seconds of inaction, the gun will be put back into the holster, okay? Uno. Oh, we need to cock it, of course, for the second shot. Okay, oh, uh, getting called. Give me a second. Right. And disappeared. Oh dear. Uh, what kind of plants are these? What? What are these plants? It looks like they've been f forming something. Western marijuana? Western Marwa. I thought those were taller, and then. The wait. Uh, oh, wait. Um, that was not a carrot, that was a rat. Hmm. Oh, well. So, rum. Been well? Yep. Been tired. Ah, you're not alone. Oh. Hey. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna leave. You guys have fun. I'm kind of just tired right now. I'll hopefully see you guys for SG1 later. If All right. Not, Maybe we can schedule it on the week. I don't know how it's going to happen, and at this point, I'm too tired to care. I'll see you guys later. See you later, Rom, and be safe. Yeah, you guys too. What? Kelly, and your mic is off. Oh, poof. Back. <laughs> uh, let's. Okay, yeah, I I did that. I did a stupid with that. When I press the uh, BRB button for me, it also mutes uh, the microphone. So yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, so the, the reason I was late with streaming was because I was helping my mother make lasagna for family dinner tonight. So I for uh, swing out the cylinder, press R, press again to add another. Okay, take extra ammo. Okay, cartridge is a, a single shot each. Uh, yeah, I was helping my mother make lasagna for dinner. Uh, family dinner with the un uh, uncle and aunt visiting. And yeah, she just called me down for a quick taste test of it. Was it good? Pretty good, I'd say. Uh, to look into the, the distance, take the Winchester and hold shift. Reload the Winchester with the right mouse button. I'll try to hit the... Okay. Behold, okay. Helion, Slayer of Scarecrows. <laughs> okay, it's it's curious so far, like a mix of Hotline Miami and Mad World. Can't go yeah, through, I'll have to break the glass. I would say a bit more charming in some way. Oh. 
In some way, it's easier to see what's going on. Uh, it will take longer to pick up the empty weapon or not to grab it accidentally in the middle of a fight to pick it up. Uh, holy... Okay. Got a bit confused there for a second. Yeah, he may be drunk, but his revolver is with him, definitely. Oh, that guy. Okay, might as well skip him. Let's see, that gringo doesn't see me. I should finish him quietly. Uh... Oh, that's the door here. Okay. The skull over an enemy means you can kill him with one stab. There we go. What well, is a gringo again? Uh, white man. Ready? Yeah. And it seems we can only carry one weapon type at a time. Okay. That gringo seems to be looking for something. Okay, where is he? Oh, there, the footsteps. Okay. But we'll always have our knife available, I'm presuming. Uh, uh, just watch out for the pig. Uh, we can probably get behind him. Uh, okay, <laughs> you can... S okay, double thing. You can see the just the edge of the knife pointing out there, and he just spat on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hide in an outhouse, smelly but alive. Uh, well, there's no really need to, s <laughs> to hide now. Okay, so we can do stealth, somewhat. How did... Okay, we just skipped the bits. Okay. Well, that's a draw. Wait, 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 wait. So everyone mm -hmm. in body. A bit of cash, I presume. Um. Okay, we still only two weapons. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> um. And we're out. The story begins in the middle, the middle point of a Mexican's life. The crucial turning point of his existence, the moment he was cornered. It was during the scorching summer of 1873, yeah, the sun was disappearing beyond the horizon little by little. They had been chasing the Mexican eastward for already a whole week. I refused to let up, even for a moment. And the flask in his uh, belt was empty, as, as it had been for most of the week. There was no sign of his pursuers for now, but he knew that they were close on his heels. There was nowhere to run. The desert would kill him if their bullets didn't. He had to reach civilization. And there are, and there those pustos will now finally catch me," he mumbled grimly. At the entrance to the town, he saw strange silhouettes. Oop. Okay, they have outrun me. Oop. And dead. <laughs> okay, so they they somehow uh got ahead of him. A rat got in the crossfire. Look, they had a nosebleed. <laughs> so I guess okay, he so... got shot in the nose. Oh, okay, we still we for I, for a moment I thought they took away the pistol for some reason. Yep. <laughs> okay, they can shoot each other in the back. Okay, you need to hold it. Okay. Give me that. It's a bit too zoomed in for my liking, to be honest. Act one, after the escape. Okay. Danny Dean, welcome to Danny Dean Saloon. Look, Jimmy, a greaser in our bar. I fucking hate greasers. Gentlemen, I'd ask you. Or what? You'll take offense and leave? <laughs> Get it, Jimmy. 
Yeah, get out. He spits on the floor in the direction of the barman. Fucking jerks. There's a T to X. <laughs> the T is extra. It's what can I offer you, Mister? Mister Juan. Juan. It's Juan. Sure it is. Uh, so what can I get you? Food and water. As Greaser said, Juan. Did you hear? They're they're all either called Juan or go to dig. You dirty snout. Hey, Greaser. Now, how do I know your dirty arrogant? Mac how do I know your dirty, arrogant Mexican mug? Barman, quickly. So I can guarantee your safety. The muchacho, show your face. He's the guy who shot, uh, who shot those ranges in Palace Town. Okay, that... <laughs> but, gentlemen. Oh, and now it's a... Now it's a gunfight all of a sudden, okay. Abandoned. Yeah, I can see why it's <laughs> it's Mexican uh, Hotline Miami. Holy. Fire. Six. There we go. But it's, it is more fun than Hotline Miami. <laughs> but Hotline Miami was a bit more... Uh, weird. Yeah. Okay. Counting ammo does help. If they recognize me, others will find uh, out too. Pick up the ammunition, take the revolver, E, take the cartridge out, hold R. Okay, so... With R, we steal their ammo. Uh, there we go. Everyone here is armed. I should try to move quietly. Don't uh, miss whatever he was saying. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's siesta time. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh. Did they? They got each other, didn't they? Oop. Gap. Ah. Oh, okay. I'm going to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we want to take this guy out quietly then. Oop. I didn't see the other one. Okay, it's a bit slower paced than Hotline Miami. Okay. <laughs> and I was too quick with that one. Okay, we definitely should be scouting ahead then. Okay, what was that about the boxes behind? Next to that house. I think I'm getting achievements for kill, amount of kills here. Yep. Okay, what what do you want specifically <laughs> with that? Um, so to look away. I, actually, just screw it all. Yeah. What was that? With Behind those boxes, what boxes? Those boxes with the fence that we can't pass over? Go. And out. There we are. The game. <laughs> oh. uh, search. Okay, just got some cash. Oh, John Antos. My goods haven't arrived yet, so I can't, can't offer you an, uh, anything except cartridges, amigo. That's all I need. Are you new in town? Yes, but I plan on getting out of here as soon as possible.
Yep, with half the town trying to kill you. <laughs> Understandable. Right, you are. It's a lousy place. Can I go out back? Of course. Just make sure to avoid the fat guy out there. I'll walk right past. It's ridiculous. That stupid bastard hardly got drunk, wrecked half my shop, and then uh, had a sudden attack of conscience. So he decided to repay me, but didn't have a cent. Instead, he took the shotgun and started guarding my stockroom. But I'm afraid to go out there now, and you never know what he does. Uh, you never know what does he keep in mind. Bloody boozer. Okay. So we can go out here, but you want to avoid this guy. I think that they went a bit of a old western style of uh, speech. And they spoke a little bit, a slight bit different back then, if I remember right. Yeah. Okay, just grab the cash. Try not to kill this guy. And the game is interesting so far, but it's going a bit uh, fast paced. Ooh. Bye bye. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going a bit fast for commentating. Oh, yeah. Even I, I tried when I was eating. Eating a Dutch pier at the moment. <laughs> what? <laughs> It, it, it says in the story they from Netherlands. Okay, uh, we whistling a military march. Oh, there's a machete. We can get there. There we go. Ten kills with the knife. Noiseless Mexican. Uh, we could go in there to get that cash and not much else, I think. So, oh, no, are we forced to go that way? It, yeah, we're forced to go that way. Okay. Hello. Yep. <laughs> okay, someone was a quick draw. There. Yep. Oh, dear. There we go. And then you... Reload. Yeah, even I have trouble commentating for. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't want to interrupt your focus. Yeah, I'll probably play this on my own time. Yeah, it does look. Uh, come on, rat. <laughs> okay. Okay, did I get killed by the explosion or did they <laughs> get. Just that quick a shot off. Sure, actually. It, it, it's the explosion. Okay. So I sort of have to lure them out. I, I'm surprised that the horse have to run away. Oh, miss. Yeah, these things weren't all that accurate back in the day. Oop. Oop. Yeah, even rifles were... But there were some rifles that were decently accurate for the time, but those were usually... expensive. Yeah. Okay, seems yeah, like we lured everyone out. And we're most likely in for the military, but, uh, you know... Yeah. People could steal. Yeah, stealing was all the rage back then. <laughs> uh, looks <laughs> like somebody's there. I'll wait until he leaves. Seems there's no one here. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot more of them than I thought there were there. I was I was going to try and stab this guy in the back, but I missed this one. It, when they're standing still, those hats look like freaking plants. Yeah, it had little plants or barrel lids or something. Like I like the idea with the hats, though. The, due to the art style lacking a lot of color, it can lead to uh, 
misidentification. So at this point, I would not be surprised if that's intentional just to extra challenge to the player. Is it a person or just a mm. hat or just a lid? What the? Yeah, that talk about how not what, why they're not using the dynamite anymore. Uh, if I do this, is it going to explode on the glass? Yep. <laughs> Didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, I'll just try throwing it out through the glass this time. <laughs> Too early. Easy. Easy. Yeah, he turned this way with that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Get stuck in the corner. <laughs> oh, love of Odin, Hillian. What are we to do with you? Uh, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Well, that's a one way to do it. Oh, what was it got? Want to learn a random thing I recently learned about Scandinavia? Specifically no. Norway? Uh, no. You know we speed have Zeus-drumming, right? Yeah. It seems Norway may have uh, gone further with that. Uh... With loot Fisk. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know which fish is it. I know that, like, Zustrom maybe have it come in small cans. But what Norway have comes in big bags. And I don't shotgun. know how to feel about it. And it's also rotten fish. So yeah, I don't know what's worse, a bag of rotten fish or a can of rotten fish. Nope. Still got them. Okay, so we it well seems done. like we've got achievements for every uh for kills with every type of weapon. Let's take one of these. We still only have six shots though, so where does this twelve is better than coming from? Let's see. Calling out from south. A rifle, nice. An open grave with a skeletonized body. Okay. Oh, right in. Anybody, please help. I'm I'm here. What happened, Mister? And where exactly are you? I'm hiding in the confessional. If you're hiding, why are you shouting? Help me, please. My flock is outside, threatening to kill me if I don't pay them. Kill them first. I'm their pastor, and they have my flock. I can't bear arms against them. It's not a Christian way. Well, it's not really Christian to go uh, kill your pastor either. Yeah, well, they are not the most loyal flock, Padre. You should run. I'm not able to save you. Nor does it give a, the Lord not, does not give us burden we can't bear. Good luck. I hope your God blessed you with iron skin. <laughs> but they'll kill me. Well, what was that about burdens you can't bear then? Mi vel madre, padre. Oh, yeah. dear. Why should I care? Time to pay, father. Come outside. Uh, don't make me kill you in your own church. I have nothing to give you, my son. I beg you to stop it for the sake of your immortal soul. Time is up, Father Anthony. Kill everyone inside. Come on, boys. Hey, stop. I got nothing to... Damn, American... Okay, two down. Give me some extra bullets. Some cat. Oh, you—you you were an absolute terrible shot. <laughs> oh dear. So that's who started the skirmish. You must have me confused with someone else, sheriff. Really, there are only two possibilities. Either some kind of holy jerk came and shot the sh uh, shit out of these people, who was just uh, some stupid Mexican bastards. I didn't want any trouble, Sheriff. These banditas wanted to rob the priest and to kill me. I was faster. It's just fair. They were my people. The Sheriff is the gang leader. Uh, what a fucking town you live in. In the name of the law, I sent you to death, you bastard. 
Yeah, fuck you. They're not even going to come out. Oh, he, uh, he doesn't need to come out. He has a freaking shotgun. <laughs> like that. Oop. Okay, let me grab some of that. Oh dear. Yep. Okay. Seems that one is out now. Yeah, we already saw this. There we go. And this freaking dog as well, come on. Did no one teach him to not run with knives? Almost exited this exact shot. What did I do with that? Actually, how can he? Okay, I can carry multiple. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. <laughs> Even a reaction. Oh, you did kill the dog as well. Yep. Oop. Come on. Uh, wait, aren't you going overtime with this one? Uh, timer is about to go off in 37 seconds. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. What's this supposed to be? Arsenal, hold white. Is this some sort of... Hmm, must, must be a sort of skill system or something. Either way, this does look like a, a nice game, but not much one for streaming, I think. So I'll, pro I'll probably just play this on my own. So yeah, it's a bit... The, uh... the character keeps closing my eye, their eye. Maybe go to lift in the eye again. <laughs> or onions. Either way, though, then, moving on to the third game... Gonna need to move this up a bit to get it into position. Yeah, and uh, the other game was a bit... A bit hardcore combat. It was a very really intense and quick game. This one I have tried out. So I'll, <clears throat> I'll admit to that. Uh, let me double check these. Okay, because, uh, there is some... Let me check. Uh, properties... Uh, to, to capture third-party overlays such as Steam. Okay, so this should this should mean that I don't need to call out when achievements pop up anymore. Though I will put myself on Do Not Disturb. That should prevent anyone, uh, any of my friends, popping up, getting well, shown up in the corner. Okay, and he's. I've I've played this game for a bit, but less than an hour, I think. So, yeah, yeah, 33 minutes of getting a bit loud there. I have seen this game. I, I have still seen a YouTube series of this. Oh, okay. The, this game can be played with one, two players. You can change this option at any time by the inputs. Okay, so we could, we could co-op this one. No. <laughs> Sorry, I know how this game plays, and it's a no. Right. I would not able to handle the stress on this one. Let's go with normal for now. I've Still good kind of forgotten though. most of everything in this. I think I would remember mo much of it myself. The deathless a thousand lifetimes ago. A great desolation silenced the, the, this planet. Fragile and forgetful humanity awoke. And upon meeting the machines of ancient history, became in awe of the powerful, the beautiful, and the deathless. Okay. <laughs> Clue. Hey, Clue, where are you? <sighs> where did that girl run off to? Yeah. Grandpa, I'm over here. 
How, how did you get up there? Uh, <laughs> RP, I forget what it... Well then, Rune Hunter, have you uncovered any actual runes yet? Uh, uh, well, no. But that's what, that's the, but what's the use of combi uh, combing all over this bo all right, yeah. What's the use of combing over all the boring places? <laughs> I bet we'll actually find something over here. Come here. Yeah, wait for me. I'm so hungry. Uh... There's gotta be some old ruins worth something around here somewhere. I really like the art style. It it kind of reminds me of uh, Nostica, the anime movie. Okay, controller works. Because I'm not using the arrow keys for this. Uh, if, if for people wondering, I'm talking about the movie that made, it's made by Studio Ghibli. Okay, I don't think I've actually ever seen one of uh, any of their works. Oh, color bonus You're missing clue. out. Three times damage against blue enemies. I used to build character items. And the heck is this? Oh, a resin socket. One of four artifact relics. Uh, I can move my mouse away. Uh, can build explosives. They can place that around themselves. So. Hmm. And here, we, color mismatch, less damage of backstab. Okay. It's a dodge, an instant weapon charge up. Okay. So if we do that, then we do a yeah, we do a triple shot. Okay. So dodge and attack at once. Okay. I don't like it showed, I only tried this game for like half an hour before I got distracted with anything else. Hmm. Okay, only normal damage on color mismatches. And crystal battery. I think I have made some ideas. If I want to distract you, I just throw a random game at your direction. Uh, what? Then I can steal all your snacks. Oh no, it looks like I'm stuck. Grandpa should be able to help me out. Should I hope he makes it? Okay. The shoulder buttons change characters. We'll be in trouble if we don't find some ruins soon. Where is that girl? Uh, speaking of throwing, yeah, of throwing things at me, I'm thinking of, of trying out that. Uh, uh, you've probably seen a, v a few VTubers who have a program that allows you to throw stuff at their faces and such. I know them. I know of them. <laughs> yeah, apparently, that program is called the program that runs that is called VTuber Plus, which supposedly you can get on Steam for five bucks. So I'll be looking at that. Oh dear. Yeah, I, I see that go sometimes go way overboard. Oh, that's an okay, that's an auto turret. Okay. Maybe we can pick that up. Okay, more resources. And repair. Repair buildings. Okay, so we have an attacker, we have an engineer. Okay. Build items. I, I, I feel so appropriate to say about Stuart Ghibli. Like, it, you and me have split reason to watch uh, Trigon, correct? Yeah. Then we spoke about uh, how all the anime has a very impressive, lively style compared to other animation versions back then. Yeah. Stuart Ghibli, it's kind of Stuart Ghibli's uh, specialty. They do an old anime style, and they're still doing it. Even though if they have computer technology, they, 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 use the, they use the computer technology, but they still keep to the style. Okay. And many of the movies are based on uh, 
books on both Japan and Europe. Okay. Yeah, extra damage against yellow enemies. Uh, something dropped to the floor. Yeah, like crystal for something. And if we put another block up top there, okay, we can get that. The steel trinkets. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is one of the games I can say you is a yes for streaming. For that's a good story. This one. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think temporary hearts. Okay, so now we ha they both have three hearts each. Yeah, as I, said, I remember much of it, but not too much. There's a lot of is forgotten for me. I do, however, remember liking the story. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to wait for that to finish up. I'm guessing the sparkles on that rock says that this is a respawning item. And Maybe? debris prevents from building. Okay. And let's take our sniper further along again. Here we go. Jackpot. It's, it's a real fancy ruin. Grandma's gonna flip when he sees this. Okay. And the bomb and the gear piston. And now he's in. Okay. Come here. Grandpa, you made it. Look at this. I was right. <laughs> it's a, a thing. An old thing. Splendid. Excellent work, Clue. Let me take a look. Can we have curry for dinner now? Uh, well, I'll need to ins <clears throat> inspect it uh, to know how much amber uh, you will actually pay us for it. Looks like at least one... Uh, yeah, looks like it's at least a thousand years old. Hmm, something wrong? Hey. Listen, something's coming. Stampede of monsters. In this way, fast. Hold on. Uh, what about our money? I mean, the relic. What do we do? Those beats touch the relic. It'll take base damage. We've got to defend it at all costs. <laughs> but Amber will give us a bonus if we you know, don't lose any base hearts. Okay, yeah, I remember this bit. Build space. You have 60 seconds to prepare for the incoming enemy waves. Build defenses and gather resources. Skip the build phase early by touching the base. You'll earn bonus chip for every second saved. Okay. Chip is, well, going to be the <coughs> currency. Okay, um... Let's gather all of this stuff. We can put up a bunch of turrets all over the place, hopefully. That is one already here. Uh, make it one there. Okay. I'm typically not much for base building games, but this one is simple enough so far. Okay. Yeah. Basic building games can be fun, but depending on what manner is done in. So far, is it in a benefit of a game? On times, yeah, not so beneficial. Yeah, a good example. Um, well, Giants in Kabuto, it was more base building than tower defense, and this is a similar, more similar to tower defense, I'd say. Okay. Defend the base. If an enemy reaches the base, it will lose a base heart. Survive with at least one base heart to achieve victory. Idle characters will do things like attack enemies or repair defenses when left alone and place them wisely. Okay, that yeah, that picture makes uh, Grandpa look a lot better. I'm not sure if that was Grandpa. Well, he had a hammer, so I'm going to presume for now. Okay, more coming in from there. As it is, it is in this game, the power defense aspect makes sense. Yes, it, there's no cheap excuse for why it, it's done. It, it, that's off. Lazy excuses is a com uh, is a too common thing in uh, yeah a lot of games. Mm, defense block over there. I, Clue's just laughing it up. Yeah, though in this case, 
They are trying to protect something they want to bring, take away. So they're making temporary turrets and not entire towers. Yeah. Okay, they can shoot through each other. <laughs> Just absolutely annihilate whatever tries to get through. And yeah, it being 2D also helps a bit. So have it be a bit like Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, hello. Okay, a cut in to alert us that something is happening below us. That's out nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I, I think they, they looked at all the tower defense game and thought, well, if we go through this aspect, we need to make it fluid and practical for... Yeah, I think they may have played all the tower defense game and noticed there were some glaring problems. Yeah, the competition can always be a lesson. Okay, um... Put up a block here. And put up a turret there. Yeah, skip. And we can put down some mines to help as well. Oh, a red one. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. Yeah, we got this. Oh, hello. Little sneak. And there we go. Now, did I even start the timer on this? I didn't start the timer on this. Uh, uh, let's give it 10 more then. It should be oh. about the right amount. Okay. And I only now realize I forgot to start up the chat program, but I will. Uh, looks like that's the last of them. What is that all about? All right, those beasts were acting very strangely. Stampedes usually only happen during mating season, and only if they're chasing a female. Mm. Stampede like that? I wonder what could have set them off. Uh... Maybe they were hungry? <laughs> Got it. Yeah, perhaps you're right. Let's head back to Amber's caravan and see what our scrap haul is worth. Time to finally trade in some uh, for some real food. Oh dear. Oop, four out of relics. All three defense waves cleared. We got and extra right. base. Oh, uh, the RP thing you found there. The options you ask you talk, tell people madras. Okay. I just forgot what the RP does. Oh, hello. Max item limit by oh, increased by one. Nice. Okay, so those are basically like stars in a <clears throat> that we get upgrades for if we complete objectives. Uh, what do you mean you won't take this? These used to be worth a fortune. Suit yourself. Those ruined hunters out east are moving relics so fast my business can't keep up. I'm sorry to do uh, this to y'all, but I'll be moving out that way as well. Amber, you're leaving us? Just like that? Yes. Sorry, sweet cheeks. Competition is the mother of all innovation, like they say. No. What are we gonna do without a scrapmaster? You know, <laughs> become plumbers? Uh, what are you talking about, Clue? Listen. Amber, we should go with Amber. We haven't found anything worthwhile in weeks. Hm. Clue, we're not leaving Anwin uh, just because Amber's leaving. Besides, it's too dangerous out east. <laughs> I know, I know. Indra territory means Indra soldiers. Grandpa, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of myself. <sighs> That's right. You know she's right, Bart. Uh, so are you coming with me or not? <sighs> Maybe you're right. We can't live like this. Maybe it's time to move on. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, but we're only going as far as Onishi you know, Forest. Any further than that is suicide. Do you understand? <laughs> Finally, a new area. I'm so ready for this. Clue, Clue are you even listening? Oh my god, maybe we won't get enough chip for me to get some new stuff. <laughs> okay, these are a bunch. <laughs> hey, Clue, come help, help out your grandpa. Hmm. Do I have to? 
Come on, it'll be fun. Now, the ruin we found contained a recipe for a new item. Really? What is it? It's called a spike trap. Come on, let's work on it together. Okay, select the spike trap over there. How does it work? It looks like it requires fusing two bombs together. Oh. It's like your other turret. Uh -huh. Exactly. See, wasn't that fun? Okay, yeah, well, now yeah. you both have a fuse item. Yeah, I think, oh, like, if, I remember, like, if you put some turrets near each other or something, they may become an upgraded version or something else. Okay. That's right. If I remember right. Yeah, let's see. Bard's hammer, crit bow, fire has powerful arrows that stick to enemies and do critical damage on every third hit. Okay. And level 2 hammer, finely crafted hammer with enhanced damage repairs and fusion speed up. Okay. Burst rival, charger dash with his right rifle to unleash a powerful burst shot that fires three shots in quick succession. 900 to upgrade. A shovel, the sh utility shovel mines resource in a single swing and greatly uh, speeds up fusions. And we're a bit short on that. Okay. Uh, let's keep to the rifle and see about getting that uh, shovel. Next time. For now, though. Oh, hello. Crater Forest 1.2 Eastern Border. Uh, okay. We go to the eastern border. Yeah, okay, that's that's three clicks now to confirm going there. A bit excessive maybe, but it makes double sure that you're not getting into anything you're not want to get into. Reign of the Gods. Ages, invincible and infinitely wise. The Deathless were worshipped as gods. In time their clans grew to become great nations. And the Deathless became the rulers of humanity. Some guided humanity with a gentle touch. While others enforced merciless order. Greater forest on the eastern border. Hey, Grandpa, how long till we reach the border? The border? <laughs> we crossed it hours ago. Wow. Huh? We're in Indra territory now? Whoa. Uh... Honestly, I thought it would be scarier here or something. It looks nice. Mm. Well, before they were conquered, this was once the famously lush and verdant nation of Sen. That Vestless was a god who could control weather. Oh. It's pretty here. What happened to all the people? Ah, uh, well... You never got rid of them, huh? <sighs> They've indeed committed horrific crimes. Hey. Come now, we'll be traveling through the remains of many lost towns and cities. We can't afford to be distracted and, God forbid, have Indra soldiers discover us. Okay. We are so going to get discovered by Indra soldiers. Oh, hello, boulders. <laughs> Another boulder. A okay, showing that, <laughs> showing that boulders can be substitute and sub, substitutes for bombs. Wait, I don't think those are boulders. Cool. If you look further ahead, yeah, it's <laughs> it's a big turtle. Okay, so rock turtle shells. So okay, I saw the box jump at it and die. So even yeah. then still it's apparently deadly to mobs. Looks like. And there's a bomb here already. Okay, it can't press the button, it seems. Wait. And bye bye. And that's taste pressed, okay. We are definitely at the very least getting a red character sooner or later, it seems. Because otherwise it would be a bit dumb to 
have red colored enemies. No. Okay, so they leave their shells behind. But the Boyas lost chicken. Yeah. What? I I don't recall that. Shield enemies. One more against hammers or from behind. <laughs> Shoot them up the ass. But diagonal fire. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. There's two here. Oop. Okay. <laughs> I thought Sonic was supposed to be blue, not red. But shot Sonic is a hedgehog, not a ruler beetle. <laughs> okay, five more minutes, I'd say, on this. Oh, sub abilities and passives. Each character has unique sub abilities and passives. Yeah, we can dodge back. And Bart can block. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, those are broken. Okay, just repair these. Now we can get the chips up there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now we have enough for that upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Okay, it's a rabbit. <laughs> we can grab onto ledges and climb up. Always nice. Uh, what do you think so far of the game? It looks good. It has a lot of charm to it. Yeah. Basically, Spike it's one of the games you can feel was made with heart. It's so far a good sprite work at the very least. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was a good sprite down. work and artwork. And as I recall, the story is also very good. Okay. Um. Okay, those spike traps might be pretty fun. And hello, the hell are you? Okay. I did that eyeball. Free. Is this pot? Isn't that supposed to be a bomb? Or is debris more the ground or something? I don't remember. Hmm. Color doors. Only matching color characters may enter. Okay. That's going to lead to some puzzle work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that opens that. Grandpa. Okay, no. Okay, that's a big thing. Holy! Holy! <laughs> that's um friendly looking bug. Armored Caterpillar of Death. Is it the breed of the, the plants or something? Hmm. Got wrong direction. Okay. And... Okay, a broken door. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely been combat here if there's this many traps just laid around. And okay. Oh, I see what we need to do. There we go, simple enough. And the heck is this? A shield emitter. 
I bet if you already had one. No warp checkpoint. Gathers four away party members, single player only. Okay. Hmm. Well, this looks like at the point of no return, so how the heck could we get through that door? Oh, yeah, why is... Oh, that must have been for the, the, the beast that was stuck in there that we just plain shot up instead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I, I think I get it now. We were supposed to shoot out the floor from underneath the thing so it fell onto the bomb and to explode. That would have broken the, the that would have broken that slab. Because we can't set oh. off those bombs manually. Oh well. Oh well, yeah. When we do stream this as a series, we will start from our uh, very beginning. Yeah. Whoa, 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 Grandpa, look. Is that a, a baby robot? <laughs> My eyes haven't failed me, that appears to be a companion drone, also known as a Kubo, or Kobo. All right. Kobo? Oh, it's so cute. It's quite a find. Kobos are quite rare, and this little spark nugget looks like it's in fantastic shape. Can we activate him? Let's find out. Maybe? It looks like it's too operational. Hold on. Well, can you hear that? It's uh, just like last time. Earth, another stampede. It's almost as if they were waiting for us. Listen. All right, Clue, get ready to fend off some beasts. Yep. Right, no one's touching our Kubo, our Kobo. Why, why, why am I putting in a, a U in the middle? Only you can answer that, my friend. Okay, they're coming from there. Okay. Looks like it doesn't really matter who attacks the resources. They just do the same amount of damage there. And what does that do? That opens up a... Okay, to a fox relic. Okay. Forest friends. Uh, let's keep that intact. Okay, parts. Go put up some turrets, please. Um, and we'll put up a defense block here to stop them. And then we're out. And in front of this, we put down one of these. And then we use one to blast this open. Okay. There we go. No extra spawner color. The color of a spawner tells you the majority color of no common enemies. Use this enemy use this information wisely. Danger arrows point to enemies in uh, spawn locations that are not currently on screen. Watch out for them. Okay. going to guess at what the difference might be between charging attacks. Oh, but how did three get put down there? Uh, oh, we're out of material. Actually, don't need too many of those flowers at the moment. And oh, it looks like we're going a bit over time. Um, let's oh let's dear. finish this up. Uh, let, not going to put down bombs here. We are going to put down. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it went up well automatically. Done. Uh, nothing that we can put down there at the moment. Okay. Can oh, okay, that is debris. Well, we <laughs> messed that up. Um, let's 
screw it. Another uh -oh. one over here. You can use that extra as a ooh. extra guards. Oh, okay, that's going to be trouble. What you got to turn the rolling over the other bodies? Okay, so we can use enemies against each other then. Oh, there's some credits over there. There's chips. Wink. Okay, those are quite a bit. And not enough resources. Potato chips. Yeah, I think Bart is actually doing more damage to the resources at the moment. But yeah, we we get three of those spike traps instead of just one, like I thought earlier. He seems to be more the builder and digger. Yeah. Go. There's going to be something red heading through here. Upgrade this to another cannon. And might as well here. Then we put up a block there. And... Just have extra. I just hope that isn't going to interrupt the. If anything, I just hope that if something hits that while it's building, that it doesn't interrupt it or anything. Okay, it just outright destroys it. <laughs> Immediately answered. Oh, okay. This this is this enemy is double colored. Its head is yellow. But its back is blue, so it can take extra damage from both. Or reduce damage from not uh, eat from everything else. If it isn't just three colors. We saw something purple earlier. Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe we should blow that up because those those boxes are in the way of putting up us putting stuff down. Uh -oh. Defense block there. I think this side probably has more than enough stuff already at the moment. Okay. Famous last words. that and yeah could have done this a bit better by placing this block a bit further back but oh well and just in case <laughs> get three extra credits That dealt with. Uh, oh, that one got close. <laughs> there goes Red Sonic again. Okay, one more. And he gonna get a cookie. Yeah, we are going uh, quite a bit longer than this, with this than I thought we would. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's probably the only concern I think I have with this game. That it <laughs> may risk of easily going over time with these seg segments. Yeah. Uh, there's another one we can... Oh, there's not another one that, that we can mine there. So that was a bit of a waste. Uh, extra mines. There we go. Uh, now we just wait for it to finish so they don't get destroyed. Nope. 
Oh, plier, they also won't get affected by this brown stuff. But it probably won't be. Yeah, it doesn't reach that far. That's a bunch. <laughs> That's the last, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yay! Um. That looks like the last of them. What could be causing these beasts to act so aggressive. Huh? It's to become so. Hey, Grandpa, look, the Kobo, it's doing something. Yes. Awakening from sleep mode. Performing system status check. Recognition functions online. Mobility functions damaged. Empathy engine severely damaged. Classified. Says report. Okay. Resuming objective. What? It has an objective. Well. Good morning, humans. Kubo's name is Kobo. Uh, young human, please identify yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it can talk. Uh, hi, Kobo. I'm Clue. I see. It's very nice to meet you, young human. Huh? Uh, wait. No, that's not my oh. young human editor. <laughs> Street. The Kobo don't give a damn. Understood. Hold uh, well, a minute. It is now your turn to speak to Kobo. Please identify yourself. Mm. Mm. Seems like it needs some repairs for its hearing. Ahem. All right. Hello, Kobo. My name is Bart. B A R T. Uh. Uh, actually, Kobo can hear all the human just fine. Kobo just doesn't give a shit. Well, the human empathy was damaged. Over there. Yeah. Severely. Now then, Kobo would like to make a proposition to the young human and old human. Kobo's combat functions are currently offline. Therefore, Kobo suggests we establish a party to reach Kobo's objective. Hmm. Wants us to help him? Whoa. How cute! <laughs> if it has an active objective, it might lead us to something even more worthwhile. Kobo, where is your objective? Where is your objective? Whoa. All right, Kobo will check now. Our objective is approximately 150,583 kilometers southeast. Whoa. That sounds far. Whoa. I'm hungry and tired. Hmm? Can we just scrap him and sell his parts? <laughs> <laughs> Pragmatic. Oh dear. Give him a chance. Let's see what the Spark Nuggets is after. And yeah, the pop-ups are showing up now. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this so far. Yeah. It, hmm. Grandpa. Uh, let's no. actually just skip through this no. so we can exit because we've gone over time already by now. And yeah, I can say this. If if I were to compare to other games we've streamed in the past, I think Iconoclast comes closest in uh, quality storytelling. Okay, we definitely love that one. Oh yeah, mm. and the characters are very likable. Okay, uh, this game, the last one for today, uh, I'll just say this upright, this is going to be streamed eventually. This is just now because it's next up alphabetically. Age of Mythology. Extended edition. Uh, of one note I will make. Uh, th this is a re-release of Age of Mythology, of which I still have physical copies as well. Uh, but this uh, this Steam release, I, I think it was only released on Steam, also oh, added in the... Steam. Yeah, the, also added in an unfinished DLC. Uh, which was which actually... Which they did finish uh, up. Well, China. Well, they finished it up, but... Personally, from what I've seen of it, especially its story, uh, the story at least is very, very lacking. So when we get to this game for streaming, we will not touch the China DLC. Yeah, I've play, I played the game so far and I love it. But I will not be surprised if the story one was a bit rushed. Yeah.
And as you can see, I've clearly played through this game before. So yeah, timer. Shall we call? Shall we do this one short or give it the same thirty minutes as always? Because yeah, we already said we're going to stream this eventually. Yeah, let, let's give it its fair thirty minutes. Okay, then the timer starts now. I should set this thing to twenty-five minutes to <laughs> avoid running over time every time. That looked like Theris. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arkantos. Fighting old battles again? Yes. Old enemies. I still see them here. You have won more battles for Atlantis than can be counted. Faced opponents no other man dared fight. That was long ago. Today, Atlantis's enemies live only in my dreams. I face feeble pirates now. Is that what you believe, Atlantean? Atlantis still has enemies. And you are still the one who will face them. Any who threaten my home or my family will soon have a place in my dreams. These are enemies unlike the others, Arkantos. Do not let your guard down. Dark times are coming, and you are needed. Arkantos, awaken. Admiral. Sir. Yes? We've sighted land on the horizon. We should reach Atlantis soon. Excellent. It will be good to see my son Castor again. Okay. I don't think if it's true, but I think this was the first, if well, it's one of the first of the the age of games where they really went full on you with the story and got the good with Arcantos. it. Lord Poseidon's displeasure is clear. We must help break the siege at Troy. Troops we send now will be lucky to arrive before the fight is over. Even if they do, their only task will be to show the banner of Atlantis, not a task for an admiral. It would shame Agamemnon if we sent one of your junior officers. He already complains that we do not pay enough attention to the Greek colonies. No, it must be you. What in the name of... Castor, stay here! Or if not the first where they really started with the story, which this might be the first where they got... Get those Petropoli up here. ...cinematic with it. Yeah, and also a bit more creative the sense. On the way. Defend the harbor until they arrive. The other games were very historical, Our so they had a, a hero and very effective at killing Carlos. myth units such Ma. as the Kraken. That got one of our archers killed. Yeah, that's what I was to say. In the other games, they were historical, so they had a very ah, set uh, story to follow. But here, they actually. Yeah, they're using Mephodka's inspiration, but did their own little universe here instead. Yeah. Okay, it's... friend reinforcements I... and defense. I guess you could say they actually allow themselves by doing this a little creative freedom in doing a story. Remember, yeah. additional Toxites can be trained at the archery range. Yeah, Toxites, which are their archers. We can line up a bunch of them, but... In general, with this game, if I remember correctly, an upgraded unit will always beat out, uh, well, always beat out one uh, unupgraded unit, and probably two to three, uh, uh, <clears throat> even at that. So yeah, all of our units just got upgraded. Uh, all of our archer units. Black sails, a landing party. Nope. Incoming over there. Okay, let's wait for them. Uh, yeah, T this is your typical real-time strategy base building game. We have oops. good. The black sails are going to regret this. Uh, we have well buildings where we can produce units, uh, upgrade units. Several villages are working in town west of the harbor. If you are running out of a particular resource, you should consider retasking them to gather it. These docks are currently disabled. Uh, yeah, let's train some hoplites because we will be getting more troops that are landing. Uh, monkey, okay. Another kraken approaches. Poseidon's yeah. wrath is yum, clear. Yum. Don't think we have enough time to. 
Yeah, we I, we don't have enough time to actually kill these ships before they land. I say that and okay, uh, you. Uh, the artillery, of course, isn't going to be that useful against quick-moving targets like this. Okay, melee yeah. in first. The madam, the, the, these were uh, were more better against buildings, unless you're attacking enemies that you get to move. Good work. But keep your eyes open. Um, I'm going to make this group number two for the moment. Do not forget to call upon your god powers. Your god powers are located in the top center of the screen. Use the rain god power to help your farms produce more food. Yeah, this is also like something rain. that they added with this. For the shore. <laughs> uh, rain. Target anywhere to make all villagers on the map gather from farms faster. Your villagers gather the fastest. A landing party! There we go. And they're landing here. Okay. We can't really specifically <laughs> tell them how to stay stand in formation. Or we can give them a rough. We can do. We can roughly uh, get them to get in a specific uh, position just by maneuvering them around a bit. Get ready, everyone. This isn't over yet. Like that. Now they're facing this way. Will make things a bit easier. Then yeah, we can click on a lot of stuff and get information on it. the weapons and armor of your units at the armory. Already done, but we can still upgrade their defenses further at the armory. I, 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 hope, I hope they one day make it it's of Mythology too. Yeah. No, uh, what this game what is... mythologies would they be taking from them? Hetimos. Oh, but there was the current to have along with some new ones, like perhaps Celtic. African. Well, Egypt is like African, but there's more there are more religions in Africa and Africa as well. Pirates! More south uh, southern Africa, like you mean. Yeah, central, southern. There's a lot of mythologies in the world that could work. The pirates nope, that won't take Atlantis this way. What are they thinking? If you figure, but there's even Middle Eastern, like Babylonian, restoration god power ancient to Arabia. Your units and mend your buildings. There's no real need for that at the moment. Yeah, and for for people wondering, last time this game had an update was l last summer, actually, if I remember right. I'll need to double check on that. Yeah, it, it was mostly bug fixing and the balance fixes. Okay, so. It, at least they're still keeping an eye on things. Yeah. yeah. It does seem like it's not the main focus. But I do probably go over a check to make sure that it at least Pray this is the works last. for people. A black sail landing party! Okay, they're landing. Well, some of them are landing. And yeah, that horn noise, get used to it. You're probably going to hear it a lot. And here we have another myth unit, besides the Kraken, the Scorpion Man. Uh, anyone who's seen Scorpion King will probably recognize that. Yeah, just be glad these are small ones, but I think. It was in the Middle East. The Middle East variant were huge, like a mountain. Okay, let's send some hoplites over that way, out of gold still. Okay, now, I'm not sure if this was in the original game, but it shows you how many gatherers are on one specific thing. Now, though, let's heal these I, up a bit. Go, actually, I, I can just well. move them together. Look at Anubites. Looking to take a bite out of Atlantis. The Atlantean army has arrived. The men 
Petimos. And just to ensure you don't get your ass kicked in the tutorial. Petimos. Uh, attack move, which is done with Pro left stagma. click instead of right click. Oh. Atalanta. Okay, that's the name that I've not heard. That, that cost us a dock. Regain control of the area to revive your hero. Uh, somebody died. Uh, she can't reach the dam. Who died? Oh, our Cantos died. Uh, yeah, he was a bit under <laughs> under man there. Uh, let's send these out. But yeah, luckily. Yes, people, you are in this. The Kraken is throwing people. Yeah, they have special attacks like that. Yeah, I think, I think on this game got a bit famous for that. That the monsters actually could do more things than other monsters and other games would do. Yeah, and the heroes have that as well. Basically, this is the first game where special units like that appeared, I, I think. I'm no gaming yeah. historian. Yeah, there has been games where you could have like Dragon Priest Fire, but here there were that you could actually interact with the other uh, mobs and Another all that. message from Poseidon Arcantos. His creatures help the pirates. Father, they stole the trident! What? Yes, it was stolen during the fighting. Camels. There could not be a clearer sign, Arcantos. We are losing Poseidon's favor. We must act. I will go to Troy as you ask. I'm going to get that trident back on the way. Zathos, take supplies aboard and get the men together. We're setting sail. Can I come? No, I need you here in case they come back. Don't worry, this errand will not take long. Oh dear. I'll say I like the story of this game. Perhaps setting out on this errand really was all that was needed to appease beside me. Black sails! Port side! And he leads us to Kamos, too. Archers, ready your bows! Prepare to come about! They're going to pay for insulting Poseidon and Atlantis. Etimi. And now they throw us straight into the base oh, building of it. Vous for vos. And yeah, it... The base building is as you'd expect. You, you gather resources, these here. Uh, favor is one that is new. Uh, that's the that one down here. And each faction gets favor in a different way. Uh, let's see, how do you... Okay, that's... Yeah, this one, shift. you need to the temple and worship by. Or... How do I set... Uh, waypoints. How do I set those again? The Norse, aka Vikings, you get favor by fighting. Simple as that. Yeah. I... The Greek get it by worshipping, uh, by setting gatherers to worship at temples. And the Egyptians gain favor uh, for, by you know, passively from monuments they've built. Yeah, and I think they gave Atlanteans gave favor from just big million town centers and passively, slowly but passively. Mm, I don't recall at the moment, but could be. And the Atlantean faction, even though we are playing characters from Atlantis, uh, those the Atlantean faction was added with the. Titans expansion pack, which well was of course included with this re-release, and I also have physical copies of. And Prostagma. Yeah. Here we go. Kataskepos, uh, scout. <laughs> Just to make it sure that you don't <laughs> mistake what the hell <laughs> it is. I like that most of the character, uh, most of the units have their. Uh, Hmm. Have the, a name that is. Actually, I'll have to, to double check if it's the same in the Egyptian uh, faction. But I know that the Norse, I think, also have a lot of their units named, well, what they were originally, or what they are supposed to be named, if that makes more sense. 
most of them. There are some exceptions, like the throwing axemen. They just call throwing axemen. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We are pretty good on most resources, so we can start building a bit. I believe in this mission specifically that the dock is very overpowered. Because the enemy doesn't really have many... Uh, let's put that there. Aquatic units, and our scout is dead. Okay, he's still got a layout of the land, land okay. of the island. Did you say lamp? Due to you saw a lamp? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh wait, those are not the lamps, those are pigs. <laughs> and I got yeah. extra confirmation due to the sound effect. Food can be gathered from, well, berry bushes, which have a limited amount. Uh, we had farms earlier, which will, well, allow food to be gathered passively, but slower. And you can, of yeah. course, slaughter animals as well, but, yeah, but you, you'll probably want you really, to leave them be. For yeah, a bit. I usually just save those uh, to late game, uh, since that's when they have so much food on them that it's worth like, slaughtering them. Yeah. I'm going to put some of them everything. Um, I think I can take the chickens as well. Yeah. Though I'm not sure if they fatten up. I think chickens stay normal. Oh, and we got a uh, hippocampus. Seahorse. Yep. The Silence oh, Naval Scout has no attack but respawns if killed. Um, I just having flashbacks from the time we played Pix Arc. We, we had a problem with our hippocampus by shooting beams from its horn. I must have <laughs> I must have suppressed that memory. Well, you were dri you were almost driven insane, and it kept killing you. And we be here's the thing: we were on a small bit of island, and the only way to get to the other side across the water was getting past the damn thing. So we were trapped on an island due to the damn thing. Yeah. And no. their range. Like, if we got close to the beach, he would shoot us. And even run up on the beach after us. Which, we, which caught us off guard. We thought we could only be in the water, but nope. He ran up on the beach and ran after us. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if this happened in earlier age of games, but when we when we progress through the ages in, in this game, you can select which of the gods you choose to worship. And the, it is somewhat limited. Like, you have to choose a starting god, and our starting god in this case was Poseidon, which was chosen for us. There's also Zeus and Hades, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. I I don't know Hades, everything yes. about this game by heart. It's Zeus and Hades. Okay. And yeah, and it shows you what you get for choosing each of these. Yeah, I have to say, Age of Mythology is the only Age oh, of the Dustis. Yeah, let's see, don't we have anything for spawning? We should be able to make, uh, we can we can call a fort Theseus, uh, Theseus yes. Uh, the food ran out. Um... Why can't we... We should be able to build structures that allows us to get actual military units. Or am I blanking completely on something? Wait, okay, let me see here. Well, there's the temple. Or... Where's the barracks? Or is that limited to the second stage? Hmm. It could be that they... You know, yeah, it, I'm not sure if it's... In, hmm. Maybe they blocked it behind the it, well, on this, so you don't immediately go on com. Ah, there it is. Um, there, there is. Yeah. There's the smithy, the farm, the scout tower, archery and barrack. Yeah, I, I. I'm guessing for this one they locked it behind the second stage, or I'm just completely misremembering something. So that you first get a bit of taste of base building instead of just immediately putting down a military academy and zerg rushing. I actually think you you don't get it until you get into second age. 
across like a map. Could be. That's, that's the issue you put on yeah. temples as houses. One of you get started on an armory. Uh, okay. You go help worship for a bit. We still got 10 minutes on this. Probably enough to finish this. Uh, on the minimap here, you see these little blotches. Those are all fish. Wait, what Most did you call fish. it? You know, blotches, these squares on the minimap here. I have never heard that <laughs> word. <laughs> it's, it needs like a splash or something, like with a, a paintbrush. Uh, oh, spl Now I remember, now I remember. Okay, we can send some fishing ships out. Fishing ships are very useful on this map because I, I don't think they make any you know, naval units to go after you with this. So you're generally, or you should generally be in the clear or just make getting a lot of fishing boats out. Okay. I'm surprised you're not having P PTSD from the horse or the water horse. <laughs> Uh, let's put up some watchtowers for the fence. Okay, okay here's a few people. If we, we played Pixhawk and we had a problem with a seahorse... Hillian was wearing! Yeah, oh. And threw yeah, with the damn thing a lot of insults. <laughs> yeah, sounds like I might have suppressed that memory. If you don't care. Well, it was a few years ago now. Yeah. Let's put up another watchtower here and upgrade, well, upgrade them to actual fire uh, on uh, their sentry towers and upgrade them to uh, upgrade them to actual watchtowers so they actually attack things. Uh, actually, yeah, it, it was way before we started to stream together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a transport ship. That's... Uh, you go, cat. No. Didn't we have two other ships here earlier? Hmm. Oh, well. You make more fishing boats. Uh, we're full at the moment. Okay. Yeah, these levels can take quite a bit, but that's why we'll be playing them on easy, so we won't be banging our head against a single objective for hours on end. Yeah, that brings up a pet peeve for, uh, for me when I see some YouTubers uh, play these games. They put the hardest difficulty or something, then they complain it's too hard. Yeah, then you only have yourself to blame. Yeah. So when I do some, and you watch some some play these soldier games, but when they do, but when if I find what that completes a lot that is too hard, when they basically use, is uh, always literally put legendary difficulty. Yeah. What the heck did they expect? Um. Okay. Don't. I'm. Maybe we won't be able to finish this in the seven minutes we have left, but still. Uh, defense, offense, and just send them the way that the enemies have been coming at us. So this is far too small of group to actually get much done here. Because if I remember correctly, siege weaponry is basically required if you can get to it. Though I don't think we, yeah, we don't have access to them yet, but we could make some cyclopses. And yeah, mid units are pricey, but they hit hard. <laughs> yeah, but it's good to be careful with them as well. Yeah, since yeah, hero units can easily kill them. It's it's uh, it's you see that in many games that uh, weapon triangles like swords are good against uh, axes, uh, spears are good against swords, and axes are good against uh, lances. I'm, I pulled that one from Fire Emblem. In this case, it's that uh, myth units are weak against uh, hero units. Not uh, always. There are some exceptions. True. Like in with the Vikings, they have uh, yarls that rides on horses, and they are apparently good against myth units as well. 
Yeah, it, it's in in general. Oh, uh, let's send our Cyclops over. And yeah, we'll probably be looking at some info on most of these as we come across them. Because there's, they have some bits of lore. Lord and unsure is correct. Sometimes. Though it might be more in this universe version. But they do something write it as it was historical. And yeah, this music always kicks up when a town center is under attack. Destroy that and basically you win. So the hero has fallen. Yeah, is <laughs> Akantos is spending a lot of this on his back. I don't want to blame is you. Yeah, if these heroes keep self-reviving each other, then I think we should be able to bash this down. Uh, don't think there's really any other objective. Uh, let's see. And also, if, if I remember right, when it comes to Greeks, you will get a different hero depending on which minor god you pick. A hero has fallen. Yep. If I remember right, if you took took an Hermes, I think you will get the, an Amazonian woman with a bow. Hmm. Yeah, each of the gods also gives access to different yeah, yeah. hero units. That and as well, yeah, uh, that's... Okay. They're most vulnerable to hack damage. It, this is the armor, the percentage of damage that is absorbed from these types of attacks. And yeah, peer, these arrows aren't doing really anything. And let's see. Slash, hack damage, hack damage, pierce attack. Okay. Yeah, this should be. We sh <clears throat> And this it will be done in a minute. Less actually. Not enough. Yeah. He, he's Corner. running away, Hidian. Yeah. I just I just had them fight the little rear guard that he spawned in. Wait, hold yeah, on. This, we, this will be it. We chasing a minotaur? Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's, he counts as a year hero unit. Minotaur pirate. Another time, Arcantos. Your luck will end. I will be there to see it. Your head will hang from my mast, Atlantean! What At the? least one of Poseidon's children still favors our enemies. Load the trident aboard the transport. We'll send it back to Atlantis immediately. And yeah, let's see how close. Two minutes precisely there, as I said that. So yeah, we are definitely giving this a shot. And I do like this bit here with the map. It actually shows you about... We don't, of course, know where, if Atlantis is even real, if where it was supposed to be. But it, I do like that it draws things out like this. With the yeah, Indiana Jones. like yeah. Indiana Jones. Really? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they started it with the movies of the, the Red Line and such. But it's become a trope since. Uh, true. Also, one thing of note before we call it here, uh, the soundtrack of this game is also quite uh, <laughs> the thing. So definitely give that a listen if you find some time for that. <laughs> yeah, the soundtrack is damn good. But for now, let's have a little look. Uh, 112 Operator. Uh, I'll be playing that on my own, but not much for streaming since it's rather high tension. Maybe... Maybe sometimes I can stream it just for the fun of it on uh, easy mode or something. No, maybe, maybe not on easy mode. That would probably be too well easy. Um, it, it went south quickly on the regular. Yeah. 
I, I really need to fix whatever's causing my avatar to keep closing his eye like that because I have it wide open now and it's actually like it, I've got it closed. So maybe just... Yeah, it, it, I think it is my glasses that's messing with it for some reason now. Yeah, my half-broken glasses. Uh, yeah, 112 operator. Maybe an occasional thing for chill streams or something. 12 is better than 6. Uh, I'll play that on my own time as well. But not for stream. Age Defenders on Drakir's recommendation. Yes. And, yes. well, we already said it at the start with of this section. Age of Mythology. Yes, we will be streaming this. Yay. So, yep. again, of note, not the uh, restored, quote-unquote, uh, Asian DLC. Because... Yeah, it's it's hollow. They, I think they just took whatever was finished on it and just threw that out without actually, well, finishing it. But yeah, yeah, I think they focus more on uh, making the units and balancing and uh, top priority over the story. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll never know unless we go to TV tropes or such. But for now, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, Two no's, two yes, and yeah. Um, yeah. Tomorrow, my last week of job training starts. Apparently, that was just four weeks and not six or you know, more like I'd been led to believe earlier. Uh, after that, so after the next week, my schedule is likely to become rather chaotic. Uh, though I should be you know, notified ahead of time of what my hours will be. So I'll be able to make stream schedules based uh, around that. Is a blessing. Yeah, we'll just have we'll have to see if I can still stream four times in a week. Yeah, I'll probably try to tone it down to three. Um, we'll see what stays and what not. We'll definitely be finishing up with uh, Monkey Island, so we are nef we are not dropping that. Uh, but we'll we'll just have to see. It might just be that things will things will likely differ from week to week. I'll, that's all I can really confirm on that. Mm. Oh dear. So yeah, uh, we'll be continuing with Techno Mage Return of Eternity on Tuesday and Thursday, uh, Monkey Island on Saturday, and hopefully another su showcase Sunday on next Sunday. Yay! Mm. Uh, anything else you want to add, perhaps? Not that I can think of at the moment. All right. Then hopefully Ron will be up for some more Stargates uh, later on. And um, we'll just have to see about that. Uh, it's Again, with the Minecraft streams, it's not a hard requirement to stream it every week. It's more a request. But still, we might... It's, uh, yeah, we'll see if Rom is up for Stargate. If not, then we'll do the Minecraft stream. Sounds good to me. Uh, other than that, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, the schedules has already been laid out. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for the seagulls you're about to see soon.